Hey there, I'm Kyle Place from Hot by Wix. Today we're diving into a world of Lincoln bioproducts. Whether you're a content creator, a small business owner, or simply someone who loves sharing stuff online, this is a game changer that you won't want to miss. Now let's talk about the frustration of having only a few links allowed in your social media profiles. You might have brand partnerships, fantastic website, a new blog post, a must watch video and irresistible offers, all competing for that precious spot in your bio. It's like trying to fit an entire buffet on a tiny plate. But fear not, my friends. Today, we're gonna to show you how a Lincoln Bio product can take that limitation and turn it into a powerful gateway for all your valuable content. Imagine having the ability to showcase multiple links, products, articles, promotions, all through one accessible and easy to use Lincoln Bio page. No more changing your bio link every other day. No more missed opportunities. Sounds incredible, right? Well, it is. So stick around as we walk through step by step on how to set up and make the most out of your hop link and bio. We'll show you all the tips, tricks, and creative ways that you can leverage to boost your online presence, generate revenue, and engage your audience like never before. All right, enough talking. Let's dive in. All right, everyone. So we just signed up right now to my hop LinkedIn profile page and let's get started. They're asking now for my display name and my URL. I think I'll just leave it as default. It looks great. Kyle Place SEO with a great, simple, short URL. It's a win-win. Let's keep going. Create account. We're now at step two. How'd you hear about hop? Let's just do social media influencer. And now where the fun really starts is for the template. Now, if you want to start from a blank one, there's plenty of blank options that you can choose and build it from the ground up. But for today, I'm going to choose one of these nice templates here. Just choose one that fits my personality. And I think I like this one. I like this dark mode here. And we'll click use this template. Now onto the next stage. We're going to add now my social media profile names. Um, you can do this also later. It doesn't have to be right now, but since we're here, we might as well do it. You can also edit it at any time and virtually every social media platform is available here. So you have to be where your followers are, right? So now to the next stage, uh, this is for the advanced search. It's a really cool functionality. Stick around to the end of the video and we'll dive into what this actually does. But since we're here, I highly recommend everyone click add search now. And just like that, Boom, my link in bio page is ready. Look at that. So all we have to do now is click edit page, dive in, and we'll start to, uh, to edit it and customize it a little bit for me. So you can see here on your dashboard, there's a few different uh, options. There's actions, which are all the links that you can add, your social links, which we've done already, settings, search, and design. So let's go ahead and get into design now. All right, so now we're here in our design options. And let's customize this and make it feel just a little more like me. All right, so in the layout, there's a few different options here, but honestly, I love the default one. Let's leave that as is. Hero image is this part right at the top of your Lincoln bio page. Let's change that. Now, because this is fully integrated with Wix, you also get access to all these royalty uh, free images and videos that Wix offers. So I think a video might look kind of cool here. Let's check out an example. These are all free videos that you can add. And let's see how it looks on the actual page. Wow, it looks cool. You know, it's, it's constantly playing. It helps, you know, capture people's attention. But before we started here, I prepared a nice picture, professional picture of myself that I wanted to add. When I go to site files, you can see there's tons of images already here because I actively use my Wix website. So every uh, video and image that I've uploaded for my Wix website is also available here on Hop. Saves me lots of time with having to find images, re-upload them and everything else. So I've prepared this image here. Let's put that in there. It's really cool. I like the blue hat and let's try and match that color scheme a little bit. So if we go here to profile image, it's just a plain K right now for my name. And let's choose, uh, I have an image of my face that I wanted to put here. This one looks good. And it's a really cool color combination, blue and blue. We'll keep going here. I think we can do a little better with this, uh, the color theme. So let's see what options are like preset. So there's like a black and green and all these colors. You can just change it in real time. But going with like this blue sort of theme, I, I think this is a really nice look here. And of course you can change your fonts to whatever you want. There's a bunch of options here, but we're gonna stick with the default. And for the button style, I always like these like rounded sort of shadowy look it changes instantly let's click finish 
And we're good. All right, for the next step, we're gonna dive into our actions. All right, so now we're here in the LinkedIn bio actions. This is like the most important part. This is why people want a LinkedIn profile bio, even in the first place, to start driving traffic to different links. So let's see what options there are. Starts with two here. Let's just hide these and start from scratch. All you have to do is click add action and you'll see a whole list of all these, you know, different actions that you can do for products and events and everything else that you can imagine. So there's lots of options. You can see because I use my Wix website, this whole first row here is because of the Wix website. If you don't have a Wix website, it'll just start here from promote something and link. So I think we'll just start here and we'll add one individual link to the homepage of my website. What we have to do is click here link. They just ask me for the URL, we'll copy and paste it in. Click next and it's already there. But I wanna edit the text right now. It says visit and the whole URL and it's long. So we can just make it nice and simple. My website changes and the URL is good. Let's add a button image for this one. We'll go to site files again because all my files are already here. And let's just choose another image of my face for fun. And I think it looks amazing. And we're at a really good start right here. So let's click finish. And we'll go on to the next action here. This next action is because uh, I have an active blog and different blog posts, I want people to be able to read my blog posts. So when I go to my Wix website blog, I want people to see a list of my blog posts and not just one particular one. So we're gonna click here. It's gonna show my four latest blog posts. And you can change the design now, but I like to change it as I see it. So let's just click next, leave it as default for now. And it says my latest blog post. I think we can do better. Let's just call it read my blog. And when we click on the arrow, it expands and we see four of my blog posts here. Um, I don't know if we need the images that big, so let's play with the style, the layout a little bit now. And we see the thumbnail, the title of the blog, and a short description. I think the description crowds it a little bit, so all we have to do is uncheck this. And now we just have the thumbnail and the title. I think it's really cool. As I publish new blogs on my website, this will just update automatically, and it really lets people know who I am and the things I'm talking about. So I think we're good here as well. Let's move on to the next stage. Now, a lot of us have affiliate products or e-commerce websites, and of course we want people to know what products we have, right? So let's take a look at how we can do this. All we have to do is click on list, and there's many different lists depending on, you know, whether you're offering services or videos or blogs, and let's do products right now. So we'll do list of products, and because I'm not showing products from my own website, let's show some, uh, some links from, from Amazon. So we're gonna click custom list of products and add product and add from URL and I have some prepare now, a nice microphone I use sometimes. All we have to do is paste it. Then we'll click new product URL and we'll do uh, some headphones and then new product URL. And because I work in SEO, I like this eat sleep SEO repeat shirt. I think it's pretty fun. We'll add that as well. So now we have three products, a microphone, the headset and a t-shirt. We just have to click OK. It, pull, it will pull in the thumbnail, the title, the description, everything that you can imagine from these products. It really saves a lot of time. We can see it here. It was really fast. We'll click Next. And again, let's stick with the default layout and edit it once we can see it on the demo site here. So let's close my blog post now and it says check out my products. Let's call it products I use. Let's open it. It shows this grid format, but there's a cool option here we can do for a carousel you know it gives a little more prominence to each one it's a bigger image it's really really good for for products like this for affiliates or for your own products and but I want to like edit each one individually a little bit so right here, right here shows how many items I have three items we click edit and all three are here but because it pulled in this from the link it pulls in all this information that we don't need right so you can rename the product anything you want let's just call it USB microphone and let's open it so we can see it changing in real time. So this is the USB microphone. I just changed the name. In my opinion, I don't need all this other extra content for the description. So I just have to uncheck it and it instantly goes away. Uh, there's the actual price. And let's just add a new discounted price. You can see it shows the original and the discount. And this is really good because, you know, we want to offer like incentive to our, to our audience to, to buy from us or shop with us or use our products. So it's a really good option. And furthermore, we can also add coupons. So as soon as I check that, you see coupon code show up here. Let's customize it a little bit. Let's call it Kyle 10. All someone has to do is 
is uh, you know copy this to their clipboard, paste it when they're checking out, and they get 10% off. So it's extremely easy. We can also change the button and everything else there. So there's some amazing options here for products. Now we just click finish, and I think we're doing some great stuff here. So let's move on to our next action. Our next action is the paid request. Okay, a paid request is basically for anyone that's offering a you know, consultancy, a service, a product, basically anything that you sell. And this allows people just to make the request here and it saves them time from not having to click through to another website, your main website or anywhere else where they can buy your service. And it saves you time because it's all in one place together. So let's click single request here and let's, uh, because this is sort of like my main call to action, I don't want it in a, you know, a button that can collapse and close. We want it displayed all the time. So we're gonna click card and you see it will be featured really prominently at the, at the top of my profile. And let's just play with it a little bit because this is a you know some demo content for art. And we can call this SEO consultancy. Let's just get the spelling right here. And let's change the image to something SEO related. I have some things here in my site files I have have uh, previously uploaded. And I think it's perfect, it says SEO. So here we go here, we can just say like uh, one hour of um, SEO consultancy on Zoom. And it's perfect, it tells you know what I'm offering, it, sh it shows the price right here, we can edit the price, you can allow checkout, they can even leave a note to tell you, in my case, what kind of website they have or how long they've been in business. And whenever they come here to checkout, you see this is like, where they can put in everything, and this is the big time saver. They can put their name, you know, their credit card information, all they have to do is click pay. Now, in order for you to receive this payment, you might have seen on the last screen, you can connect it to your Stripe account. So when you do this, everything is processed all from one place. It's incredibly simple, it's incredibly easy, and who doesn't like saving time, right? So I think we're good here. There's all sorts of options. You can get email notifications, and, you know, e e emails and phone numbers. You can really choose what it is. So. I think this is ready to go. And now the last action I wanna show you now is for a contact form, right? So we'll select a contact form. Um, you know, what's the whole point of growing an audience online and getting them to follow you and engage with you is, you know, you, they wanna stay updated, right? So you, they would sign up for your newsletter or hear about your new product. So the contact form is a great start. Um, we'll leave it as a button for now. You make it personalized contact me and right now it has name email phone I don't know if we necessarily need a phone number right now so we could take that off and I think name and email is good maybe I'll do a message as well so they can tell me like why they're contacting me um, but you can also do address and zip code um, you will also get email notifications here and it just makes it a lot easier to get in touch with you you have to be available and you know it helps grow your audience and keep your audience engaged which is the most important thing so we'll click finish here. Um, the thing I do want to do though, is I don't necessarily want that at the top. I want my main call to action, which is the request, uh, you know, for my SEO consultancy first. So the contact form, all I have to do is drag it down to the last on the list. And it instantly came down here below my products, my blog, my website and contact me. So they scroll down and then they can fill out the form to get in touch with me. All right. Now for the next step, let's take a look at some of the settings that we can customize within our hop profile account. All right, so let's take a quick look now at uh, social links. You know, we set this up in the beginning. You can add links to any social media profiles you want here, but we already have three set up. I think we're good there. Let's take a quick look now at settings. Um, you see the name also we set up in the beginning. You can add anything you want here in the bio. I'm an SEO. It adds it right here at the top of your profile. And one of the really cool features here is the verified badge. You see, you just keep an eye right here next to my name. As soon as I check this toggle, and my verified badge shows up. It's a big trust signal. All the social media platforms are doing it. And, you know, your users and your audience, they, they look for this kind of stuff. It's important to have. And, you know, uh, I think we'll move on now to our last really strong feature. I mentioned in the beginning, it's a search functionality. And let's dive in there and take a look. All right, so now we're here in the search functionality. And let's take a look at this. All right, you can see right here at the top, there's a search bar. What are you looking for? We have it as visible now. You can also make it hidden if you don't need it, but like I said, I highly recommend using it. A heading, I don't know if we necessarily need this, so let's turn that off. 
and let's click add a link. Now what this does, is anyone that uses TikTok knows, it's really hard to find specific videos and search on people's profiles for a video that you know you saw or that you wanna share. So this changes that. This one is my SEO ranking video. You can just type in a keyword here, we'll just call it SEO ranking, we'll click next. And now I have one video here. We'll do another TikTok I have here. Add another link. Let's we'll call this one SEO as well. SEO podcast. Create. And let's do one of these Amazon links here. Let's do this SEO shirt again. I like this one. So we'll have three links total here. SEO shirt. Now for each one of these, it'll be fully searchable. And what's cool is that, especially if it's your own products, you can add a coupon code here as well, which you know allows you to offer coupons in the product list and in the search functionality, which is really cool. This is eat, sleep, SEO, repeat, create. Okay. Now what can you do here? Now we have all three, we have two TikTok videos and a shirt here. You can do all TikToks, you can do blog posts, you can literally anything with a URL, you can have searchable here. So when I go here and click, you see them all listed here. And when you start searching for one of the keywords like podcast, by then my SEO podcast TikTok shows up. So you can have an unlimited number, a huge amount, and it makes it way easier for the people to find what they're looking for and to engage with you and to get your content, you know, more awareness to it, more eyes on it, and more views. All right, let's move on to the last step now. All right, so now onto the last step, which is, of course, publishing your page. So all we have to do is go here to the top right, we click publish, and woo bravo, we have our link in bio URL officially published. Let's click on it, open it up, see how it looks. It's completely mobile optim optimized, it looks great on any screen. So we'll copy this URL, and what do we have to do next? We have to actually put it in our social media profiles, whether it's Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is that you want. I prepared my Instagram right here. You can see it looks amazing right here, and they, instead of just having one link like you normally do, we have this one link that leads to every other product and offering and service that I have. Now to do this, you have to do it on your phone because on Instagram desktop, they don't allow you to add it, but all you would have to do is click Edit Profile, and you'll see a spot right here where you can just paste your uh, your hop link and bio profile from your phone into the Instagram app and you just hit submit and save and When you go back to your profile, it'll look like this right there This also happens on TikTok once you have a certain amount of followers and this amazing stuff there So once it's there, what can you do next? Let's go take a look at the dashboard and the analytics for hop All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the dashboard and the analytics That's all built in and integrated with your hop link and bio profile all we have to do is click on dashboard and this is the main dashboard of your hot profile you can see here the, uh, the analytics is just prominently displayed right when you log in which is amazing because you want to see how many people are clicking on the link what they're clicking on inside of your hop if they're converting what they're doing what their actions are where they're coming from so everything is fully available to you here because this is new obviously there's no information here but you know it'll show the click-through rate the clicks and which social media profiles they're clicking on from within your hop profile and this is really amazing you know this is really where you can get your insights and you can go back in um, you can optimize your profile you should be optimizing it continuously you need to keep it up to date you need to give your users and your audience what they want keep it modern and you can do some really really amazing things here and I'm so excited to get this going so now that you're all set up it's time to unleash your creativity and make your mark we can't wait to see all the incredible things you're going to accomplish with us, so let's make some magic together. Thanks for watching.